Enjoy this free preview from My Outdoor TV. With the largest library of outdoor shows, we are the home of the adventurous, the champions, the legends. My Outdoor TV. Try us free. I ain't kid piss. Now you keep running your mouth over there, something's gonna happen. Don't normally just gonna go sit out at 98. What did I start here? I ain't <laughs> Might as well fire a few more bullets. Make sure we zeroed in. Just went for a little run, trying to get in elk shape, which I may not look at, but I'm getting there. Three miles, that's the goal. We gotta get to three miles. I'm at two and a half. Brent bailed me out. I got got to two and he was walking. I said, you know what? I think I'll what just walk along with I think you. it'd be a good opportunity for me to kind of witness to him, you know, and kind of kind of bring him along because he's a preacher you know so i'm trying to yeah, trying to bring him in so he knows what he's talking about so it'd be a good opportunity for me to talk to him and spend some time he taught me a lot man i talk learned a lot. lot you know all that schooling i went to it it didn't matter i learned more from daniel this morning 30 minute wall um he listens to a lot of good christian music too biggie smalls and tupac and the radio version the radio, radio version. version i mean obviously the radio version yep. so steve owns this cabin owns this land and we're staying on hunting with him for several years and he always enjoys, like we all do, hanging out in camp and, and seeing who's going to be here. And so we told him that the preacher was coming. He's like, the preacher? And then, I, I don't remember who it was. I told him, yeah, he's a WWE star. And they call him the preacher. And I, mean, I think he does preach on the side, but they call him the preacher. That's kind of his personality, putting the fear of God in you. So Brent's here, and we've got Steve all worked up thinking he's a professional wrestler. And uh, he's going to put on a, go into character when Steve walks up and, and put on a little show. So that'd be funny. And I got the bald head going on, so I'm like, like Stone Cold's cousin. So I'm going to get into Stone Cold character, all kind of stuff. And then I'm going to split personalities. So like I can think of all kind of stuff already, like where I'm talking to him, I'm normal. So I'm sorry to take you know, some time to get out of character. And then I'm going to switch and just snap on like pits. They look like they're flying, all right? I think the boat's fine. Get that sucker tied. like you want, I just may add, I ain't just a tick higher than usual, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. They call him, they call him the preacher. The preacher? The preacher, yeah. You like wrestling? Huh? You like wrestling? I used to wrestle in high school. Did you? But not, not the entertaining wrestling. You ever heard about Stone Cold and Steve Austin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm his cousin, so I'm just breaking into the wrestling business. You know, it's a tough business, but I apologize that sometimes I get in and out of character when you become like one with the industry. You start thinking, you know, you start becoming that character, so I apologize. Pitts is, he's smiling over there laughing, it ain't funny. I'm about to take him, he's got that mustache and sweep the floor with him. I, All I gotta say is you better pack a lunch. You hey, hear we'll that? Hey, ring in the front yard. I ain't kidding, Pitts. Now you keep running your mouth over there, something's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. It just, it just sometimes it. I can't cut it off. I can't cut it off because you know if I run into fans <laughs> out there, they got it's kayfabe. They gotta, they gotta know. So I, I got enough work to do in here. I don't need the inside busted up in. Uh, a lot of folks say it ain't real, but I, I think it's, it's real. Pretty Listen pretty now, pretty we ain't gonna talk about you. We don't use the F word around here. And what I mean is fake. Now that's where things get serious. He's definitely in character, ain't he? <laughs> You're not gonna wanna fight me where I'm about to go. He's about to go. He's a winner in there. I'm not I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not who? Vern Gagne. Now Vern's a tough guy. You know, he broke in Ric Flair in the wrestling business. Yeah. Did all he, that Vern champion for years. You don't get any tougher than Vern Gagne. Then he's Gagne, followed in his footsteps. Down, and then they'd be the selling Jarrah's I like side. this guy already. He likes Vern. I like Vern. Vern's a hard worker. Vern's used to make put bags on people. 50 pound bags make him walk upstairs, flies us there to the past You ever, you ever know about uh, Mad Dog Bashan? Oh, I'm all about Mad Dog. Well, my, my uncle lived right across the street from Mad Dog in Omaha. Me. No. What, what did I start here? <laughs> Real Tree Road Trips is brought to you by Onex Hunt. 
Scent Thief, Bushnell, First Products, Baku Bikes, and Hoist. We're riding into this field that Sean and Brian scouted yesterday evening. Saw quite a few deer. We think there's water and hole down here, so we're gonna go take a look and kind of see the surrounding area and what our options are. They were actually scouting from way back there yesterday evening, and we pulled up on X right here, and we're looking at the screen, and it looks like there's a water and hole right down in here. And as hot as it is right now, we're, we're talking about 100 degrees this afternoon, so they're definitely gonna be looking for water. So what we're gonna do is ride down here and see if it is a water and hole. Looks like one through on X, but we're gonna go down here and confirm it. We're hoping it is a water and hole. Yep, and there's water in it. That's what he was doing. There's water in it. We're golden. Stop here. I'm thinking the blind right over here. They were scouting from way back here, about 400 yards, and they saw all the deer kind of gravitating to this area right here. So that first buck that came out, he was like getting lost in this tall grass. Okay, in this so tall he, grass. Came, he came from that backside uh -huh. and, was, and was in that tall stuff. Like, right. It was like a low spot. Right. Like, dang, man, it's a low spot in there. Well, yeah. Now we yeah. know why. I think this will be a good location. It'll give us. With the wind we're dealing with, I think it'll, we got a chance at shooting him before he gets to the water and hole and also in the water and hole. These redneck bale blinds are perfect. They're really lightweight. You can move them all over the field. As you can see, there's a bunch of hay bales already out here, so it's gonna blend in nicely. Hope Nebraska, we'll cut some limbs out of the way. Uh, we've got a food plot here that's kind of pulling them in real tight. Mr. Bruce has got some a little water hole right here. So we got a whole salad bar out there we're hoping they come to tonight. Uh, this is very close to the same spot that Tyler Jordan killed that uh, Mr. Perfect uh, last year. So we got high hopes. It's gonna be fun. Just a couple little trimmings to get off these trees and we ready to roll. Feeling pretty good. I'll be feeling better after a little caffeine. Ooh, that's dark too, almost like tar. Might as well be caffeined up while we're sweating. Make you sweat a little bit more. I think our first hit might be, hope I'm wrong, gonna be more observation. Yeah. Just to kind of, but you never know, because yesterday nothing came within bow range of that tree, but where we're gonna be, we can see everything, yeah. so. Might get a better gauge on something. Then we might have to move in tomorrow around mid-morning, sneak in there and hang something up and but maybe we get lucky this evening, you don't ever know. That egg's hot no matter where you at. <clears throat> don't normally just gonna go sit out in 98. That takes something pretty special going on, just go sit out in 98. But it is open day in deer season in Nebraska, so that's something pretty special. Real Tree Road Trips is brought to you by Federal, Hoyt, Primal Outdoors, Monster Mill, Redneck Blinds, and Team Real Tree Sausage. That right there's probably where I'm gonna have to be. Yeah, I like this setup. I think I think we're in a really, really good spot right here. As hot as it is, they're gonna have to come to this water. We're set up here in a good spot. Got a little bit of shade. It's hot out. It's probably upper 90s. Uh, food plots all around us. But we've got to kind of got this corn pinched in where it's pushing these deer towards us. We are just about to set up. September 1st here in Nebraska, opening day of both days. It couldn't hunt this morning. So we hunt this alfalfa field. They want to bump these deer off his field. But uh, we set up on top right over there yesterday.
Realtree Road Trips is brought to you by Spartan, Arctic Shield, Backwoods Attraction, Chevy, Franke, and Realtree. Oh, we saw another 30 deer. Saw a cow elk and a, and a nice bull. Yeah. Come in there behind her, so that was a cool hunt. Got some video of him. We're gonna make a little adjustment. There's one cedar tree on that end of the field down there that all the deer kind of gravitate towards for whatever reason they feed around it. So we're gonna move. we're gonna back up and punt tomorrow morning, maybe after the dove hunt, and go build a little ground blind in there and just tuck in that cedar tree. And, like a natural blind. Yep. But I need this protein in case the wrestle match goes. Is he still bought into it? We got him with a treble hook. He's he's done. <laughs> 